welcome back to all my YouTube subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to City Boy Lee. Now this video, I'm going to show you or answer the question when I should change my water filter. Normal water filter clocks roughly 10,000 litres of flow, but when is the time? Normally, we wait until we see some uh, black or dark color debris floating around the water, then you change it, that's too late because the material in the cartridge has started to disintegrate. So I will need a flow meter, drinking water flow meter. It's powered by three AAA batteries. And you may choose the DC power version, but I choose the battery version. So this water filter or flow meter works like this. It works on existing water line. It passes through the sensor and then the data sent into the microcomputer. Now, how do I know if it's reliable? So first, I need a standard cup. So I have a 500 ml standard cup. I measure, I contain 500 ml water and I check the reading. If the reading increased by 0 0.5 liters, then I know the computer or the sensor is accurate or reliable. So otherwise, if it's not, then I need to change the case setting or the care value or perform the calibration. And I will show you how to do that. Okay, so here, yes, it increased by 0 0.5 liters. So to do that, you press and hold the set button Okay, move on to case setting, and then you press and hold the set button again so that one of the digit will start to blink, and then you press up and down to change the digit. And then you press set again to move on to the next digit. Now, the concept goes like this. If I have a two liter container, this is the actual volume. And the display volume value, if it's the same, two liter, okay, actual over display, if you have the same value, then the, the fraction is one. Then I just need to divide it by 1, then yeah, 30 is correct. Okay? By default, it's set at 30. Otherwise, if the manual volume is 20, I forget, well, sorry, if I manage to get 2 liters of water, but it records only 1.5 liters, then the number, I mean, you divide them, the value is more than 1. So all I need to do is I need to reduce my K value. How to do that? I divide by 1.33, and that's the value that I need to reduce up to 22.6. Okay, now you press set again, you go back to your total. If I want to reset the digits, all I need to do is press and hold onto set while in total mode. And then I press up and down or down to reset the value to zero, zero. Now the maximum digit is actually 100,000 liter. You can measure using this flow meter. And uh, under total mode, you press the down button, you change liter to gallon, if you prefer to, to be in gallon as a unit. I prefer in liters. And you press up button, you change Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay? But I do not use a temperature sensor because I'm going to save battery. I hope this video helps you. Thank you.